John B. Watson was born in South Carolina in 1878. His father was an alcoholic who left the family when Watson was 13 years old. His mother was very religious, and this was the reason Watson studied as a clergyman. He studied at Furman University to fulfill his mother's wis wishes as a clergyman, and received his master's degree in 1899. That same year, Watson's mother died, and he left South Carolina for the University of Chicago. At the University of Chicago, he studied philosophy under John Dewey. However, due to his lack of understanding philosophy, his interest in the subject diminished. Watson was attracted to psychology through the works of James Engel, and he studied biology and physiology with Jacques Loeb. Watson was the youngest person at the University of Chicago to earn his doctoral degree. He was 25 when he was awarded his degree in 1903. Watson remained at the University of Chicago until 1908, where he was offered a job at John Hopkins University, which he accepted. He remained there at John Hopkins for 12 years. Watson then went into advertising as a psychologist. His contributions to advertisement included focusing on how things are presented rather than what is being presented. Watson also introduced celebrity endorsements of products, although these types of endorsements were already being used. Watson wrote a few influential books titled Psychological Care of the Infant and Child, Behavior, an Introduction to Comparative Psychology, and Psychology from the Standpoint of a Behaviorist. Psychological Care of the Infant and Child was a book written about child rearing practices. It focused heavily on the nurture aspect of child rearing and placed heavy emphasis on being objective to one's children, yet kindly at the same time. John Watson's biggest and most famous contribution was his Little Albert experiment. This study was done in 1920 at Johns Hopkins University. It was a case study showing classical conditioning in human children. Watson suggested that fear was the innate reaction children had whenever they heard loud noises. He believed he could condition a child to fear a stimulus that they would normally not fear. The child used in this study, dubbed Little Albert, was nine months old and had no previous fears of rabbits or rats. The study presented Albert with a rat that he was allowed to touch, and as the trials continued, every time Albert would reach or touch the rat, a loud noise was made behind the child. After several pairings of the rat and the noise, when the rat was presented alone, Albert would become visibly upset and try to move away from it. John Watson had demonstrated learning with this experiment. The identity of little Albert had never been found up until 2009. It was discovered that Albert had died at the age of six due to hydrocephalus, or also known as water on the brain. In 2012, an article was published questioning Watson's realization of the disease Albert had. Some argued that Albert had this disease congenitally, and if this was the case, Watson's research and results may be inaccurate. Albert's learning and reactions may have been different of a normal, healthy child. Despite these latest findings, John Watson was a pioneer in the founding of behaviorism in psychology. His child-rearing book was very influential, and an entire generation was raised in accordance to this book.